Good afternoon and welcome to Today's Entrepreneur. My name is Courtney Sells and today's guest is Mike Dodd. Thanks, Courtney. It's nice to be here. A former volleyball beach silver medalist in the 96 games in Atlanta. He's also a former volleyball analyst for NBC. You are in Omaha to help Tim McCormick launch a hot new franchise called Thunder Beach. Can you tell me a little bit about Thunder Beach? Yeah, Thunder Beach is the brainchild of Tim McCormick. He's been in the volleyball business for over 25 years, and uh, it's a franchisee concept uh, that you take an existing sports facility or sports bar, you add to some land space that's available that's not being used, build some volleyball courts, start some leagues, generate some revenue for both the land order and the franchisee, and get into business. And away you go. So when you say Thunder Beach is an add-on to an existing business, what actually do you mean? What it says, we're adding on to an existing business another source of revenue. So it's just basically taking uh, an unused asset for a, uh, a business owner and showing them where they can turn that into a revenue producing asset. And so let's get to the bottom line. How do you make money from that? Well, it's, it's a, uh, a win-win situation for both the, the landowner and a franchisee. In other words, the, the, uh, the landowner would have the food and beverage uh, profits 100% from everyone coming in to play volleyball and then having a drink or eating something after. And then the franchisee would make their money through the league uh, fees to join the leagues and the tournaments and the merchandising and other, uh, other aspects of the business. So in the best kind of relationships, uh, both parties are doing well, and that's what this is uh, geared to do. Very neat. So what you're saying is Thunder Beach is really, the franchise could be added on to any existing business, and being able to utilize all of their existing facilities and land that they're already paying for, but underutilizing. Exactly. Very neat. So one would say it's like, you help me, I'll help you. Absolutely. You want to go to any landowner that, that has an existing business. They have some vacant land that's not being used and you want to turn that land into an asset, something that's going to produce some revenue. So the franchisee will work out an agreement with the landowner, build the volleyball facility, and everybody starts to uh, make money and benefit from the relationship. Sure, absolutely. So does the existing business have to buy the Thunder Beach franchise? No, that's the beauty. They just own the land and they have to agree, obviously, to allow the franchisee to come in and develop it, build the volleyball courts, put up the lights, uh, get everything in order. So Mike, would Thunder Beach deny me this opportunity because I don't want to be a franchisee? Absolutely not. Thunder Beach is just looking for great locations, great owners that really want to maximize their location. Wow, so what are the next steps? Well, Thunder Beach will advertise your location. They'll go out and find a person that is interested in being a licensee. They'll put everything together and make it work for both parties. What qualities must a business have to become a Thunder Beach franchise location? I think the biggest quality is they just, you know, obviously have to be in a, a nice location. Uh, I think you, as a franchisee, you would want your landowner to be running a, a good business, paying their bills, good in the community, goodwill. And uh, all of those qualities are, are really what you're looking for. What are Thunder Beach's requirements uh, to become a franchise owner? I think for the, the franchise owner, um, the biggest requirement is you want to have an entrepreneurial spirit. You know, you want to be able to want to own your own business, want to take the risk, uh, have good people skills, know that you're going to have to organize things, build courts, put in lights, and then have the people skills to go out and, and recruit teams and players and build your business. Very neat. So it's almost like a sports complex, if you will. Uh, does the Thunder Beach franchisee, do they build out that sports complex? Well, not the whole complex, just the volleyball part of it. Uh, again, you're going to an existing complex already, a bowling alley, a sports bar, uh, batting cages, anywhere where people congregate to do some recreational athletic activity. What would that build out consist of? What are the process and procedure of that? 
you clear the land, you put in the drainage, you build the sand courts, you put in the poles, the nets, the antennas, the lights, everything that you need to be able to run a successful league and successful tournaments. And so Thunder Beach, you know, they're involved from start to finish, especially with the build-out process of the whole franchise. Sand soccer. How fascinating. Tell me, what is that all about? Well, sand soccer is just really a, an additional revenue on top of the new volleyball revenue. You can take a couple of the volleyball courts, take down the nets, build basically a small little soccer stadium on sand, Very and all of a sudden you're getting more hours of revenue, you're getting people coming in on the weekends playing soccer, all of a sudden you have leagues, tournaments, okay. and again, it's just taking what you've already built and creating more benefit, more value to Very the asset. Neat. Wow, wow. Yeah. So what is the cost? What, what would it cost someone to become a franchisee of Thunder Beach? The initial cost is $15,000. and oh, uh, Yeah, and with that comes the 25 years of experience and expertise that Tim McCormick brings to the party. And believe me, that's, that's really worth its weight in gold because that's where you really learn not only the court construction end of it, but how to go out and generate successful leagues, how to recruit players, how to, to get them involved and, and get yourself involved in the community. And that's something that Tim is, is really good at. Very neat. So what are some other reasons that a person should consider when they're thinking about becoming a franchisee of Thunder Beach? Well, there's so many advantages. First of all, uh, the startup costs uh, compared to just owning your own business and buying the land and doing all of that are so much less. Thunder Beach offers an opportunity to own a business with no triple net leases, no cam charges, a great lease at an existing business negotiated by the franchisor, a franchisor that takes care of most of the back office, high net return on investment, a franchisor with over 24 years in the outdoor recreation business, significant ongoing support, and great technology. You avoid all of, of kind of the initial startup pitfalls because you're already going to an existing business. So who are you targeting to become the next Thunder Beach franchisee? Anyone that has uh, an entrepreneurial spirit. And, and really, you don't have to be uh, madly in love with sand volleyball or even sports. You just have to have a mindset that you want to own your own business. You are, are well organized and, and you have the people skills to go out in the community and create these leagues and create people that are interested in coming and playing at your facility. Uh, yeah, there's a risk, but with Thunder Beach, it's, it's, it's a minimum risk compared to just starting from scratch. Sure, absolutely. Well, that's it for now. I want to thank Mike Dodd for coming in. Thank you also to Tim McCormick uh, with Thunder Beach. And uh, if anyone is interested in finding out more about Thunder Beach business opportunities, you should simply go to the Thunder Beach website at www.thunderbeachusa.com. Check it out. This has been Today's Entrepreneur, and I am Courtney Sells. Have a great business day.